Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about Q value. I'm sure you've heard this term or seen it in the literature, but not really under, uh, you know, understood what it meant or how you can apply it to your particular sonic situation, of you, if you will. Q value just simply means quality value, okay? Quality of an electrical circuit. So it was first used as a descriptive term in electrical circuits, and the goal was to leave a large output of the circuit's resident frequency at the circuit's resident frequency. You so get as much output as you can before the circuit kind of overloads, so to speak, at least at that frequency, okay? We know that with this process, the less damping, the sharper the peak in the spectrum. We're going to walk through a real-time example of that, too. So um, it's really, if you're looking... Let's say 50. It's really a measure to the bandwidth between two frequencies. So let's just take 40 and 50. It's really this area here that we're looking at. So it's that bandwidth, the frequency range, so to speak, of the bandwidth, right? Between two frequencies. So let's, I'm going to quit talking. Let's use a real live example here, and I think you'll, uh, you'll understand. We uh, got a couple of new uh, SVS subwoofers for our uh, new multi-channel studio. And one of the reasons in the, the buying decision was that electronically, through your phone, you can control a bunch of parameters that we years ago wouldn't even imagine could have been controlled electronically. We're doing analog, you know, circuits and trying to do all of these things in the analog domain. But, you know, SVS has come up with a really good software program for your phone that connects to, your, to the subwoofer, and you can control a lot of parameters. Let's take a look at some of those parameters. Low pass filters, phase, nice. Polarity, hmm, that's nice. Parametric EQ, my favorite. We're going to walk through that one. Room gain compensation, don't know really what that is yet. Haven't had a chance to play with it, but I definitely will. Look at this. Port tuning? How did we do that in the olden days? Foam, fabric in the ports? That was as crazy as can be. Well, I still put my foam in the ports, but it's predictable and consistent. I know what it's going to sound like. So, But we can electronically tune the ports here. My gosh. Uh, presets, so you can hold your settings. So let's look at a real-time situation of parametric EQ. Let's take 40 cycles and watch how we fatten it, spread it out first across a wider bandwidth, and then we can fatten or, sh you know, less damping, sharper the peak. So less damping, we, we make the peak real sharp, or we can spread it out. You can see here in this example, and that's in the digital domain. So you have that kind of control, and it does it in real time. So you can really hear the difference. I mean, it's, it's quite a program. It's quite a program. Subwoofers are good too. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if I bought it for the subwoofer, if I bought it for the, the electronic control, probably 50-50. But it's a good subwoofer, too. We have the little 8-inch, the two eights yeah, here for the two-channel system. And we've been playing with it for the last couple of weeks. It sounds really good. Uh, we'll get some more of the bigger ones for our uh, research and development facility. But it's nice to be able to control all of this, you know, electronically. So just wanted to use that as an example. So with this Q value, you know, you could have room issues, 40 to, let's say, 80 are your real bad fundamental issues. Okay, well, with the parametric EQ, you can go in there on the low frequency side and lower the amount of energy that you're putting into the room that's causing those issues, okay? Energy's still there, frequency's still there. You're just controlling, you know, how the room receives it. Now. This makes an assumption that you understand your room. First things to do to understand your room is just get an RTA, leave it on all the time, and watch how 
your room manages energy. You will start to see patterns. You will understand it a lot easier than watching 10 of these videos. You can learn from those electronic apps. So Q value, quality value, something from for electrical circuits that's come into acoustics. I see it in other disciplines too. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.